So I want to do a little exercise with you. This is going to get exciting. Pad. Okay. Let's draw. Fucking. I don't know what we'll call this bloke. Just a very quick one. Just being silly. I was gonna draw a dick on his head, but fuck it. <laughs> Should we put a fist out with cash? Nah, just his head. Okay, look. Now, what is he pointing to? His life. Okay, that's what some middle-aged 60-year-old usually looks like toward the latter end of the career. But let's look at what their life usually entails. So I'm just going to draw a quick diagram. Or oh, not diagram. I'm going to split the page in four. Okay? Very quickly. So there's Dickhead's house. There's Dickhead's workplace. Being King Dickhead, he works on the top floor. So I'm just going to put a circle on the top floor. This is where he gets his plane. Why am I putting a fucking arrow? It's supposed to be Qantas. There we go. Plane. Dickhead's activities, which usually involves weird outings. My point is, what this dickhead does his whole life can be summed as very simple nodes. These are all nodes. Node, 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 node. So all this dickhead does all his life is go home, go to work, go home, Go to jet, go to interesting place, get jet, back to jet port, airport, go back home. And that's his life in one way or another. Okay, of now it looks simplistic, but that's exactly what it is. Now, don't get me wrong, we can adjust to make an exception. Let's just call it one year exception where he just goes and goes back home that could be a wedding that could be his fucking child's birth it could be anything but this is all he does in his life so my point is if you put that bloke's life as a bunch of nodes they're just a few simple lines a person of that caliber can have their entire lifetime reduced to a few nodes and few lines. Now, I'm gonna to go to the next one, okay? That's cockhead. So for cockhead, it's more depressing than the average person. But the average person, unfortunately, or well, the average worker, employee, someone who works at a bank, fucking chemist, blah, 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 lawyer, etc. The average employee follows a very similar path, but just doesn't, you know, minus the jet, minus a few other luxuries and working on the top floor and so forth. But it's a similar thing. So here's Chubby McChubson. It's fat. Now let's turn it into a Chubby for Sheila. It's a fucking out there you know those really
That's what the average Sheila looks like. Who works in an office. That's what the average fucking cockhead millionaire looks like. White millionaire. That's what the average Caucasian Sheila looks like who fucking works in a chemist office, etc. So, give me a second. So, there's her home. It's more rectangular and smaller. There's their workplace. There's a school. I don't know what her workplace looks like. Let's just say she's a fucking cop. Okay. She works as a cop. That's a workplace, that's a house. That's the school where her kids go. This is where her groceries are. Keep in mind, this bloke rarely goes to the grocery shops because he's a rich fuck and everything's delivered. Groceries. Friend Jen's house. Where she can whine and bitch. Holiday. She takes once a year or twice a year. So, what is most remarkable is that her life is a little bit more interesting from the perspective of nodes. So she'll go from home to shops to home. Then when the week starts at work, she might go to work, home. She might go back to work. From work, go back to from go to Woolies. After Woolies, see a friend Jen. After that, home. This is the one day she has to pick up her kids from school. So she'll go to work, being a cop and all, go to school, and go back home. And then it's time for a holiday. Back home. That's her whole life. Some does notes. Are you getting my point? Because this, if you map your life as a bunch of nodes, you'll be able to see how abnormal your life is in reference to human evolutionary traits. One of the reasons I have become an arch in pursuing architecture and have been since I was a nine year old, I look at architecture very differently to everyone else. Architecture isn't just a built, de built environment, although it is the built environment, it's organisms interacting with their built surroundings. It's what people do on a day-to-day -day basis. It's people being more than just going down the road each day and being a fucking node in terms of their <laughs> going there and back, there and back, there and back, day in, day out. So arch good architecture will change the dynamics of human environments and make life much more exciting than just being a node, which I'm not gonna get into yet. So let's look at it from the backpacker and homeless person's perspective. Okay, this is me in the last year. Uh, correction, me in the last eight months. I can't believe the time is going so slow. That shows you how much time I'm having. Let's look at me. I'm going to put my face here. How do I envisage myself? Yeah, I'm solid jawline, fucking solid head. Got the fringe going on. Yeah, the curly fringe. Eee. I have those squinty eyes. I have a very aquiline nose. That fucking cheeky fucking smile. Hey, fuckhead. Looks a bit like me. If I can ever go at that, I'm not even looking at myself. Like this is the architect coming out of me. Fucking five second fucking drawings. <laughs> They're fucking gold. Oh Jesus. Okay, that's that's me. Fucking with my fringe. This is me in the last year. These are all the suburbs I've had to travel to to find accommodation.
and they could go on. I'd have to actually triple or quadruple that. But the point is, this is what it's looked like. Because I've always got to find a place to stay. And then there's somewhere new I've got to go to. And in between these, there are other nodes because they represent shops, things I've got to get, places I want to investigate, places I want to see, etc. So I, I, unlike these things here, I can't put the school the whole holiday and things like that because I don't have enough space. So that's you could imagine that as those those things, house, house, house. And then this could be Woolworths, or that could be fucking uh, train station, blah, 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 blah. And then there's me deciding, okay, maybe I should go up the coast and see what's up there, which I have done several times. There's heaps of shit on the way there. And then there's fucking this. And then there's, oh, fuck, I feel like going to the city and fucking rampaging. Yeah, there's that. Do that a few times a week. And there's a the fucking beach. And then there's the fucking mansion. And then there's fucking... This would just keep them going on and on. I'd probably have to make this about four or five times bigger. That's just in the last eight months. Not my lifetime. So, that's me. In the last eight months. And my point is, that's stable. That's unstable. Now, you're probably going to go, what? You heard that right. It is not, you don't have stability just because you do the same thing day in, day out. Yeah, that's right. Just because your bank account always checks out green, just because your bills are always paid, just because everything is so perfect and woo, it doesn't mean that you're stable. It doesn't mean that you've got security. That's all garbage. And any sane person will admit that. It's just gonna take a little whoop nudge on your life. Yeah, dead relative, dead child, lost job, bankruptcy, cancer. Just one pin, one major linchpin. And because you're so used to your life as you know it, everything falls apart. You don't have the natural human adaptive mechanisms that were always there. But let's have a look at me for a second. Okay, let's imagine I um, can't pay a bill. It still looks the same. Let's imagine I uh, break my leg. It still looks the same. It doesn't matter what happens with this fucking, with these nodes and lines everywhere. I'm sweet. So I'm technically stable because I'm, this is clearly the ultimate change vector they're full of vectors change vectors nodes everywhere it's just adapting after adapting after adapting and it doesn't stop it can't stop it just gets better and better i can only get better and better so you're not gonna get me out of my comfort zone which is uncomfort but but trying to make life uncomfortable <laughs> Let that sink in. My comfort zone, being homeless and getting used to things as they've been the last eight months, is being uncomfortable. I'm comfortable with being uncomfortable. I'm uncomfortable being comfortable. Does that make sense? So with the average person, oh, they're so comfy, comfortable when they're in their comfort zone and comfy. Oh, everything's done for me. Everything's so sweet. And then, boop, there goes their bubble. You're all living in a bubble, you fucking retards. So let's let's look at all of a sudden. She, she's okay. She's thirty-seven. The child's five. She uh, develop develops cancer. Has to sell home. Loses a job eventually. Even though they're workmate supporter, she just she's not in a state to do that, and she's. Decided she needs to find other work in future unless she recovers and she gets accepted back. Schools have to change. 
she doesn't shop there anymore. She can't go on holiday that year. Just because of cancer. So she now moves to some cheap rental home so she can afford everything she needs for life saving treatments and stuff like that. She's in a cheap rental home. Child now goes to a public school. She gets some government support, but she still works. So it's a bit of both. So C for Centrelink. Plus. So work plus C. I should do that bigger. You know. Who? Minus the fucking shop front. Her workmates still support her and see her. She can't go to her friend Jenny's house anymore, so Jenny has to go to her. She goes to another Woolworths. And she can't go on holidays until she finishes cancer. So what's that one again? Is that a school? I think that's a school. It's a public school. So... Now that she's moved from all this to that just because of cancer, she goes from home to work or Centrelink, pick up the kids, back home, Woolworths, back home. Even though they're there, they're, they're not a node, they're just, they're just there. So they might visit her, but that's not her going to them. And then she starts doing this all her life. Well, for the next two or three years. She recovers. Thank God. And then she just goes back to that. And that's uncrossed. Wow. What a life. So draw your life on nodes. Go on, I dare you. Draw everything you do in your life, or at least in the last couple of years, draw them as nodes. What are you scared of? It could be your mate Habib's house. It could be the Maccas. It could be anything. Just... Draw your life as nodes and see where see where your mind takes you. See if you're actually happy with what you have. Are you happy with the idea that your life is this? In fucking so in a triangle back and forth. Doing the same thing. Is that what you really want? Are you gonna look at this video and say, oh, this is you making fun of me, or fuck this cunt's actually telling me something that's gonna benefit me? So you do the maths. Let's look at a backpacker. I have to say, the homeless life is much more uh, spectacular than the backpacker's life, even though the backpacker tends to have more money and jobs and stuff like that. But, okay, there's a fucking strap. There's backpacker. Backpacker likes to backpack in the Sydney CBD, then likes to go to Melbourne CBD, then likes to go to Adelaide, then likes to pick cherries at some farm. Did I say Brisbane? Or Melbourne? No, no, and then he decides he wants to go to Brisbane. So it was Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, some fucking cherries. Picking some cherries on a farm. Brisbane. Finds work up north, far north Queensland. Picking corn next to fucking inland uh, coastal type ends. Decides to go to Dr Daintree Rainforest. Dies because he gets eaten by fucking crocodile. Crocodile eats him. He dies. But even still, that's all he does. He, he's managed to do that in five months. So even though the crocodile's eaten him, he's still ended much further than these people ever have. 
It's amazing. I'm, I'm amazed. I'm very amazed at how nodes can define a person's life. So I, I, I this is actually impressive to me. To someone else, it might look intimidating and nonsensical, but to me, it makes all the sense in the world and is the epitome of stability and adaptivity. Now, if you put her here, she'll probably fall over and cry. If you put him here, he'll probably start crying because he has no money and jump off a cliff. If you put backpacker there, he'll just think it's a manic way to backpack and be happy that he's not going to be killed by a crocodile in five months. So think about it. Think about it very carefully. Come on, go ahead. Put your life as nodes. Okay, this is a lifetime, so this is what he's done over 40 years as a professional. He's done this, same fucking thing, invariably, for 40 years. Plane home, plane home, work home, plane home. <laughs> Brothel home. <laughs> and this Sheila, I'm not going to make fun of her because she gets cancer, but... She, same shit, just a little bit more extravagant than this clown, from the perspective of nodes. You know, take away the idea, take away the idea that I've got a lot of money, or I'm, wow, I'm, look at me. Take away that for a second, because that's a sickness, that's a disability. And just understand that you are as you are. Does that make sense? Don't picture yourself being the money or don't picture yourself with your money and all that sort of stuff and how good your situation is just picture yourself as you are just as another person can regardless of how inferior they are to you and when you start to understand you as you are how does the idea of going to the same places and doing the same things over and over again sound is it, does it make you feel happy? What a fucked up life. What a fucked up life. So that's, again, 40 years. She's only been noise for fucking 10 years, so life's not that bad for her yet. But when she gets to 50 and she gets menopause, and she'll be fucked. Me, fuck, I'm only a young cunt, and I've been doing this for eight months. It's me in eight months. <laughs> and probably so. Times by four. So times that by four. Fuck the shit I've got up to in the last eight months. Jesus Christ. Enough to write ten books. If not twenty or thirty. And this fucking cunt gets eaten by a crocodile. But still managed to do a lot more from the perspective of nodes. Than these people do in ten years, forty years, etc.